Thanks, Melissa. I know the people going to Music Midtown, myself included, are glad to hear that it's not going to be a washout. And after being canceled last year because of the pandemic, Music Midtown is finally returning to Piedmont Park today. Brittany Klein, Peter, joining us now from the park. Brittany, you're dry. That's the first good news. This year's event is going to be different from years past, though. What do people need to know if they're going out this weekend? Absolutely. As you can see, Savannah, they are still setting up out here. Preparations definitely underway as we are now just hours away from this festival that is expected to draw thousands of fans throughout the weekend. This year, though, more than 30 artists will perform across four stages, including performers like Maroon 5, Miley Cyrus and the Jonas Brothers. The festival has been a tradition in Atlanta for over 26 years, but with COVID-19 still on high concern, this year definitely going to look a little different. Organizers are requiring all attendees to be fully vaccinated or show a negative COVID-19 test to help with that effort. Festival officials partnered with the city of Atlanta earlier this month. Anyone who got the shot that day got free passes to the event. Organizers tell me they were able to vaccinate just under 200 people on that day. And today's first act is expected to take the stage at 1245. And then there's ongoing performers throughout tonight, tomorrow with the last act. Miley Cyrus expected to do, take the stage around 830. Awesome. Savannah. So, so, so Brittany, people need to either bring like a copy of their vaccination card, right? Or a negative re test result. That is correct. You have to be fully vaccinated and you need that card with you or you have to have a negative COVID-19 test within the last 72 hours. Okay, good info there, Brittany. Thank you so much.